Good morning, KISS. Mr. Morrill here from 7th Grade Science. Today is September 11th, 2024. This is a historic day, a day 23 years ago when the United States was attacked by members of Al-Qaeda, an international Islamist uh, extremist terrorist group. This historic day impact us, impacted us like no other day since the attack on Pearl Harbor. It continues to influence how we live our lives today and for all of our tomorrow. At 8.46 a.m., the first passenger plane, Flight 11, struck the North Tower. 17 minutes later, Flight 175 with my friend, Brian Sweeney, pictured behind me, struck the South Tower. There were over 16,000 people in the World Trade Center complex when the two planes crashed into the towers. I played football with Brian and his brother Kevin in high school. Brian would go on to be a pilot for the United States Navy and then work for a defense contractor. Brian recognized what was going on on Flight 175 in the morning of September 11th and left this voicemail on his home answer machine for his wife. Jules, this is Ryan. Uh, this is on an airplane that's been hijacked. Yeah, things will go well. I'm looking good. I just want you to know I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to find. Uh, same to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you. And uh, I'll see you in September. Hi, babe. What's up, Ryan? And you hold out this hope, especially for someone like Brian, who. Um, this is a, a silly way to put it, but he was a warrior, and you just didn't believe that something like this could take him away. So you, you hold out this hope until it's validated somehow. And all I needed was that message. And I think he very selflessly left it. Um, I don't think he left it until he knew that he wasn't coming home. When I got it, um, it was just so Brian, and it was, it was his, his final um, request of me and his final way to let me know that he was going to be okay and that he believed that he'd see me again and that's all I needed to know. And it was, um, it was, I'm thankful for it. So thankful for that message because at least I know without a shadow of a doubt what he was thinking, um, the calmness in his voice soothed me, um, so I do have that, and um, and because it's on a message, I'm able to share it with anybody that wants to hear it, and um, it's very powerful. He made very powerful statements with that message. The attacks killed 2,977 people. On this day, we are reminded of the importance of saying something when we see something that's not correct, and the critical need to take care of each other as we move through our lives.